the lord is saying something and they completely misunderstand the teaching this can happen to us my dear friends we miss the point we miss the point because if our focus is lost our focus is gone and that's exactly why we need to focus right now they they are coming they are coming uh, we are they are going to the other side of the lake after the multiplication of bread so there they understand how god intervened and they are they are just lost because of the multiplication always we after a major huge activity jesus leave them leave the glory and he isolate himself they can't understand this they are blinded by the by the fact by why why the lord is leaving the popular power glory pomp and glory there so they can't fathom this so they are, they are, their mind is always still there and what happened they forgot they had forgotten to bring bread they had only one loaf of bread even they make mistakes isn't it they they miss the point okay they forget it happens but then when they go through that jesus said disciple had forgotten and they had only one half of one loaf with them in the boat and had cautioned caution them saying watch out be aware of the leaven of the pharisees and the leaven of herod jesus is talking something else it's nothing to do with the bread it was just still with the bread he's speaking about the leaven and he's bringing forth an example a metaphor we have to show now leaven of pharisees leaven of herod be careful because they they can spoil the whole soup whole whole concept of growing once you once the leaven is ad- added it will affect the growth if it, it will affect the affect the whole system and it's not seen it's not to be seen and it won't happen overnight all of a sudden it will gradually gradually increase within 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 itself so that's why we have to be careful so first reading beautifully support the fact blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial for when he was stood the test he will receive the crown of life which god has promised to those who love him so it's it's there are there are times of trial tribulation difficulty so always there is a glory waiting that glory is always waiting it will follow a gift so then what happened what happened once we once we lose the connection those who love him will bear the pain those who love him will go through the struggle trial without any complaint so that's the reason and the lord is saying i'm being tempted by god let's no one say when he is tempted i'm being tempted by god so now remember temptation and trials are two different things so temptation can be a trial but all the trials won't be temptations so in tempting god will never put you to temptation so devil is the one who put you into temptation and when the god can allow it in luke chapter chapter 22 verse 31 he clearly said to peter that lord the, the devil is going to tempt you and holy spirit was who holy spirit took jesus to the wilderness to be tempted by satan so that temptation is different that is a trial which is a temptation so tested by tested by the devil 
like gold is tested in fire. But the my dear friends, we have to understand. So you are tempted. You are tempted, for God cannot tempted cannot be tempted with evil, and He Himself tempts no one. But each person is tempted when he is lured and entries by his own desire. Because of your own desire, you are tempted. That's how that's how a fish will eat the bait. Because your your greedy, your desire, your ambition will lead, lead you lead you to sin. So that that happens within you. So why you desire? You are not complete. You are not in the presence. You don't hear the voice. He has not satisfied you. For him to satisfy you, you have not allowed him to satisfy you. So you, there's a desire. You should you should have one desire. In the world, you should desire God. Other any other greed can lead you to destruction, disaster. If you greed for God. If you are greedy for God, that's definitely that's different. So you crave for Him, you are greedy for Him, desire Him. So the word says, then desire, when it has conceived, gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. Desire conceives, conceive when it is conceived, gives birth to sin. Desire will lead you to sin. Sin will lead you to lead you to destruction, death. So death is like a child. It's born. Conception happens with desire. This, this is the vicious circle, isn't it? So in, in confession, confession, what we do, we kill that our child. We kill it. But then it won't have the desire is not quenched. So you have to deal with your desire. It happens in the, when you are in the presence of the Lord. When you are in the presence only, you are being, you are being quenched, satisfied. It happens only in His presence. So by forgetting, forgetting you, 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 can, you can lose everything. Forgetting the presence. Now they are, they are in the presence of the Lord, in the boat, going to the other side. And they have lost, they have forgotten to bring the, bring Bread. The Lord is saying, can't you understand? Can't you see? Can't you hear? And you're completely lost. With, with, with seven loaves, I have fed th five, four thousand. With five loaves, I have fed five thousand. And twelve baskets. You had extra. You and seven baskets were there. You feel seven baskets. And can't you understand? It happens in the presence. When you are in the presence, you don't have to worry at all. So you desire only Him. So once you lose the presence, you can lose the presence when you are in the presence. I mean, they, they, they just got, were worried about the number. About the fact that they have forgot the, to bring bread. And they were arguing about it. And the Lord is saying, no, I'm speaking about the leaven that can destroy you. So what is what happens within you is important, and uh, trial is always lead you to trophy. But then temptation, temptation can be a trial, but temptation when it comes to temptation, God will never, never put you to temptation. So you have to do away with it. You have to go away. You have to ch change your way where you have to avoid temptation. Think about it. Have a nice day. May God bless you.